Hey guys, it's Shi from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2018 video. Welcome to this week's maintenance and new event guide. Starting with the maintenance. Maintenance will start at 7 p.m. Pacific tonight and go until midnight Pacific. That's 10 p.m. Eastern until 3 a.m. Eastern. It's five hours of maintenance, during which time you cannot play MLB Perfect Inning 2018, even if you want to. With this update, what are we getting? Number one, we're getting the May Live Special Edition players. While editing this video, I noticed that they'll only be in May Live SE drafts, so I don't know if they'll be in the free Live SE drafts from a week ago. I'll open at least some of those packs tomorrow and see if they are, but I don't expect them to be. Number two, there is a live roster update. Do you give the list of players added? And then there is a much more comprehensive spreadsheet with both the May live special edition players and the live roster update info. I guess the highlight of the roster update, Shohei Otani goes from a 57 overall to a 58 overall. Certainly there's other changes, that's just the one where he's been one of the most popular cards in the game, and that should stick out. In terms of the new players that we're getting, Austin Meadows. If I skip anyone, it's because I don't really know who they are, or they're not on my favorite team. Gregorio Petit for the Twins. Hunter Dozier for the Royals. Bobby Wilson for the Twins. Socrates Brito for the D-backs. Jake Cave for the Twins. Chris Medlin for the Diamondbacks. Pat Venditti for the Dodgers. Nate Iovaldi for the Rays. Hey, some knockoff Justin Bieber for the Cleveland Indians and Alexi Ogando also for the Cleveland Indians. Number three, they're adding face and motion capture for 10 new players. Arodis Vizcaino, Josh Tomlin, Dylan Bundy, Alex Colome, Brad Peacock, Ian Happ, Andrew Benintendi, Alex Bregman, JT Real Muto, and Reese Hoskins. Luis Severino's face capture is getting adjusted as well. And number four, they're changing what are in capsules. So the old system, there were 10 gold capsules, 20 of the 100 million GP boxes, 50 of the 10 million GP boxes, 500 of the all equipment packs, 5,000 complete tickets, 17,500 of the 30K GP boxes, and 40,000 of the 10K GP boxes. Under the new system, and it's up to you guys, Based on your preferences, if you burn all your capsule coins before this new change or after, for me personally, I'm probably going to try to burn my capsule coins before maintenance and before this change happens. There will now be five A-grade boost trainers, which provide a whopping 20% bonus. There will be the 10 golden capsules. There will now be 30 of the 100 million GP boxes, 150 of the 10 million GP boxes, 1,500 of the all equipment packs, 15,000 of the complete tickets, but it's only one equipment pack or one complete ticket at a time now instead of three equipment packs or three complete tickets. And then 125,000 of the 10K GP boxes. Does this game feel not understand? Nobody wants 10K GP. I'm conflicted on you know, is it worth it trying to gamble on the 10 mil or 100 million versus taking a bunch of 30Ks over 10Ks? That's for you guys to decide for yourselves. You should know what you value most. Number five, Jose Torres has gone to NA processing. If you're wondering why, he was arrested for domestic violence. The investigation by the MLB was ongoing. They concluded it. He suspended the rest of the year. It's a bad situation, but he's suspended. He's not in the game anymore. So I suppose if you really want this Torres guy, get him from PAX before the update hits. Number six, fixing collections. They removed the NA players from collections completely with the new update. So that's Robinson Cano and Roberto Osuna. Previously, the collections were showing everybody had these cards when a lot of people didn't have the cards. I'm pretty sure Gameville did that so people 
didn't need to buy these NA cards for insanely high prices just to complete collections. I wanted to make it easy and say, okay, we're going to pretend everybody has these cards so you can complete the collections. So that's the reasoning there. That's what happened with that. And then number seven, they're adding the new event and ending the existing event. They're adding the Father's Day event, which we'll get more into. And they're ending the existing event, which had the duplicate player boost bonus. That was only Saturday and Sunday. That's already done. But the 50% off training reset cost ends with the maintenance. And then the login aces golden ball event, it says ends, but it also makes a disclaimer, thankfully, that the last day of login golden ball rewards is June 14th. On June 14th, you will get your 7th Golden Ball if you've gotten the previous 6 through today. That will give you the 388 plus overall drafts. If you aren't completely caught up, you can still get a bunch of GP. And now for the Father's Day Special Event Guide portion of this video. Because hello GMs, we will share with you the Father's Day event details which begin after the scheduled maintenance. Please note, these images were taken from test server can appear differently on the live server. For the Father's Day event, event number one, Happy Father's Day. Duration from June 14th after the maintenance until June 20th before the maintenance. The content you collect blue Father's Day hats during the event and exchange them with various event items. How to obtain these? Obtain through Father's Day collector box, which can be open for free of charge every hour during the event. So the more active you are, the more blue hats you will get just from these boxes. Number two, can be earned through cumulative points rewards in turn battle mode so it looks like at 70 points you get one hat at 300 points you get four and at 500 points you get seven so grinding turn battles has extra incentive this week number three login rewards login to claim hats 10 hats a day thursday friday saturday sunday and monday 100 hats per day and then tuesday wednesday 10 hats each. So just for logging in, you get 250 free hats. They will have Father's Day event packages where you can buy packs and trainers and hats and bonus GP. These are from the test servers. The packages might change in the final production. But yes, you can pay to get these hats. Here's the item exchange list. For 100 blue hats, you get a silver draft. For 200, you get 200 mil. For 300, you get a gold draft. For 400, you get 300 mil. What the frick? Gameville is so stupid. Don't pay 400 for 300 mil. From what I can tell, there's no limit on this. So just get two of the 200 mil boxes. Don't get one 300 mil box, guys. PSA, hopefully that helped you guys. For 600, you can get a contract year 90 plus overall draft. And for 1,000, you can get SE Legend Draft number one. The Legend Draft, I do believe, it just gives you a player that goes into a Legend set. It won't give you a Legend from what I understand. I'd be very careful to look at those details before you go all in on that. Me personally, what am I thinking about? I'm thinking about that 90 plus contract you're getting. Getting a 90 plus pull very well could be worth it. At the same time, if everybody goes for that, and with all the 88-plus drafts entering the game, those cards might be oversaturated in the market and might not be worth it. Otherwise, I might just go for that 200 million GP box. And if not that, maybe take a gamble on silver drafts being worth at least 100 mil. Yeah, anyways, there's a couple other secondary events. There's live season play, where if you play five season mode games per day, you get 10 mil. This is a free 10 mil, guys. If you're not playing five season games a day, by which I mean simulating the season game should count, you're doing this game wrong. And event number three, weekend event GP bonus. So this goes from, I believe, 8 a.m. Pacific on June 15th until 7.59 a.m. Pacific June 17th. During this event, playing live seasons, live head-to-head -head ranked battle simulations will give you double GP. That's all for this event guide and for this video though, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2018 content in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this event. I think it's a pretty intriguing event. I think getting 300 million GP for 400 blue hats is definitely a major error on the side of Gameville. Maybe they'll fix it before the event.
If they do, certainly reconsider your options based on whatever tweaks Gameville might make last minute. If you have any questions about the event, feel free to ask them. I can't guarantee I'll know the answer, but if I know the answer, I will give you the answer to the best of my abilities. Also, make sure to check out Boonk Edits on Instagram. Link to his page is in the description. The same guy is breeze.underscore.mm. He just wanted to make a new page, you know, get new, fresh, active followers. He makes really cool, awesome looking thumbnails for me, and he definitely deserves a follow and some of your support. That's all for this video, though, guys. MG from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, as always, peace out.